and welcome to another edition of RCW Spotlight here in the hot garage, <laughs> or, or, or shall we say the training facility. We call it the garage, that's a nickname from the wrestlers, I apologize. Anyway, with me today as my co-host, thanks to Ken, Jimmy the Shoe. Mm. And yes, thank you. our special guest, and when I say special, I'm talking about you can't get any better guests than this. He is the current reigning RCW Global World Television Champion. He is my good friend, Mr. Prodigal Son, George Davis, member of KE Organization. Yes, sir. George, how are you doing? I'm doing phenomenal. You know, this is this has been the, the summer of the prodigal son. Right? A absolutely. It's been the summer of the prodigal son. I've faced every single challenger, and they've all fallen to the side. And, you know, I got a kick. I got a kick out of getting a chance to take Cody Reaper's world championship away from him and walk out two titles. That's tonight. George. That's tonight. That is tonight. And we're going to talk about that. Very soon, but right now we're gonna let's jump over to uh, Jimmy the Shoot. Jimmy, uh, pizza, yes, sir. In honor of Ken, we got us a pizza from Luigi's. Luigi, that is Ken's favorite pizza yes. place. Yes, so what are we gonna do? Stare at a box, or are we actually well, gonna enjoy this? Well, here, help yourself. There's... But you do know I got a weigh in today, right? Uh, one piece, one hurt. Oh, one or two, uh, maybe no pieces. No, no, I gotta try at least one yeah. for oh, Ken. Yeah, yeah, for Ken, for Ken, for, yeah. for Ken. It's gotta be for Ken, you know. Plus, I'm Italian, you know. It works, yeah. Right, it works. All right. You want some? Too? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll take now, you're the champ. Yeah, you take the first piece. Champ gets the first piece. That's the way it should be done, right? Now, anything that anything that uh, anything that Ken is a fan of, I'm a fan of. As right, well. right, right. Ken, yeah. Oh my goodness, it is. It's, it's, it's really hot here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Dig into this thing right quick. Jimmy the Shoe, you eating any? Not today, thanks. Ah, hey, what did you do to it? What did you do to it? Oh, nothing. A little bit of X-Lex won't take care of. Uh, you, oh, wait, wait, that'll make me lose some weight. Yeah, well, not soon enough, though. Nobody, nobody ruins a, a Luigi's Pizza. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and take our first commercial break as I talk with food in my mouth. But when we come back, we'll do the way. Two, two minutes, two School is out. Take your summer break at Melanie Lake with Rubber City Wrestling as we present three incredible events. Sunday, June 25th, watch as we crown a new world super heavyweight champion at Lords of the Ring. Thursday, July 6th, RCW gets hardcore with bike night with scars and straps. And on Sunday, July 30th, see title for title at Battle at the Beach. Three amazing events all taking place at Kim Tam Park at Melanie Lake. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. All right, we're here with Rick Lieb to do the official weigh-in. How old is scale? It's not as old as you. Kind of a comment with that. Damn, you're tall. Damn straight, I am. You should let me train you. Get on this scale. You, Come on, let's go. Made you a wrestler. Let's go. Let's go. All right. You should not have eaten that pizza. You probably shouldn't eat the pizza. I agree there. A little extra cheese. There's a lot of cheese. Is that extra cheese? All right. Fifty. Hundred. Two hundred. Three hundred. Four hundred. Start moving that thing because I'm under the two. All right. Two hundred. That's perfect. It's right there. Come on, stupid scale. This ain't fair. My clothes weighs this much. We teared the scale to your clothes earlier. You were there, remember? I think you probably messed up. I think your official weight is 203 and a half pounds. I don't think that made sense. This is crap, dude. That scale is screwed up, man. It's exactly. screwed up now that you just wrecked it. it, it it's it's Jimmy the Shoe's fault for that heavy pizza. He put lead in the damn thing. Oh, I didn't make you eat the pizza. I was off camera. 203 and a half pounds is the official. Oh,
Artistic Butterfly is a locally owned shop made up of all handmade crafts and gifts. We have over 30 vendors that hand make their own unique items. Our products are constantly changing. We also provide fun crafts for adult eyes only in our newly opened third room as well as homemade candies and baked goods. And let's not forget a few drawings by your role model Rick Lee. Artistic Butterfly LLC is community based. We do fundraisers for kids with cancer and we also collect non-perishable items for anyone in need. Come see us today at 498 Canton Road, Akron, Ohio 44312 or call us at 234-334-4656. Artistic Butterfly LLC, allowing local artists to spread their wings. The diet definitely kicked in. Right. Kicked in overweight. I mean, no, I mean, bro, it's his fault. Jimmy. Uh, he brought the pizza. Are we back on? He brought the pizza. Oh, yeah, we're back on. And unfortunately, I have to interrupt Welcome again. Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. Uh, with us right now is Andrew Burkett. He is our producer. I was told to give you this and open this one myself. Okay, so is this, who's this from? I, you know what, as much as I do. I was told to hand that to you and open this one myself. Who's reading it out loud, me or you? Uh, you? I'm, I don't have a mic in front of me. Oh my gosh, this is a freaking prop. The mic's up there, and you are up there. I did not <clears throat> like this one. Okay, attention Rubber City Wrestling fans. Oh, this is for me to read to the fans, okay. As many of you, as many of you have heard, I am currently in the process of selling Rubber City Wrestling. I have had a great time running the company and meeting all of you great fans. Thank you all for always supporting our product and for loving real professional wrestling. With this being said, I am fully relinquishing my duties to your role model Rick Lee and producer Andrew Burkett as a team until the sale is made and RCW is in other hands. I expect them to work as a team Good luck to both. I work for you both. I gotta work with you. I gotta work with him. You? Oh Can God! Can you do something yeah. about this? How are we supposed yeah. to even agree? Okay. All right. One last thing before I officially part ways. I am making a few adjustments to the weight classes in RCW. From here on out, the super heavyweight division will be no less than 250 pounds, with an unlimited ceiling. The heavyweight division will be well with an unlimited ceiling. I get it. The heavyweight division will be from 200 pounds to 300 pounds, no more, no less. If you want to be in the heavyweight division, you must stick to the regiment. Finally, the light heavyweight division will now be 220 pounds and under. Did you pay him off or something? No, this I didn't even know about, I promise. What the hell? No what? higher, no lower. For years, I've heard how competitive this division is. Now it's more competitive. Now i got to work with him. Thank you all, and God bless Tony T. <laughs> I was wondering. You made why weight. I made weight by like you a lot, man. By a lot. Oh, man. By a lot. Hey. Oh, oh this, is, this, is, this is great. This is beautiful. This is great. He, he gets what he wants. I'm going to get what I want mm -hmm. this Sunday. Man. Oh man, it, it feels good. When we're both like heavyweight and light, when we're both world champions. Oh yeah. It's gonna it's gonna really feel oh, good. Yeah. And then of course Schizo being the super heavyweight champion. Oh, it's that? like all my friends in the right places. All so, in the right places. This I, is going well, to this, be a this, phenomenal. This is a very 
pleasing and very pleasant surprise. I noticed she didn't rip that one up. Oh, why would I rip this up? This This one's going in my pocket. This is a godsend. That must answer why that I saw him at the bank with a five thousand dollar check by his Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, come on, come on! Don't, don't, make don't, that, don't that, throw that, him that, under that bus. That, that, that he didn't, why, why he didn't pay anyone money, off. Money. This is just I Tony T no, making the correct been. adjustments Never. to the weight division. You know, yeah. to his credit, when Greg Anderson was the booker, he was trying to talk Tony T into doing this a while ago. So, I mean, you know, the funny thing is. I was one of the people against it. <laughs> Not so much now. No, I wasn't huh? in that weight class. I wasn't trying to get in that weight class. And I, I was about, in that weight okay. class. Now I'm in two weight classes. Yeah. Well, well here, have another reason. But if reason. you're the world heavyweight champion, I'm obviously not looking at that belt anymore. You know. So, yeah, sure. Yeah, this is pretty nice. This is this is a pleasing. Yeah. Told you. I told you it worked somehow. Yeah, I mean, it gave you luck. Right, right, good luck. I'm drinking that for now one. Thanks, Tony T. All right, guys. <clears throat> Tonight, this evening, or not evening, but 5 p.m., um, first of all, get there now because Melanie Lake has got a huge event going on right now. We've got a couple different rap groups going to be there, so there'll be live performances starting at, I think, 3? Don't quote me on it. It might be earlier. So get there now. The swimming's already started, so... Did I say get there now yet? Yeah, you said that. Yes. Say it again. So get there now. To let you guys know to get there now. And us three are going to predict who we believe is going to win all these matches. So, that being said, these matches have been hermetically sealed on Funkin' Wagner's porch since yesterday at noon. Nobody! Oh, wait, there's not an envelope here. Okay. Anyway. First match of the night, the USSR kid, who I, by the way, broke into the sport with, oh, yeah. versus Bobby Eagle. I might come out and watch that match. That's going to be an old school. That's going to be a very old school style match. These guys, very old their feud goes back all the way into New York years ago. Uh, USSR kid broke Bobby Eagle's back over 10 years ago, getting him taken out of professional wrestling for 10 years. Oh, oddly enough, shortly after that, USSR kid, gets reported and sent to prison. You know who he blames for that, right? Oh, yeah, he blames the Eagle, of course. Yes, Bobby Eagle. And so this is going to be a good one. I say there's justice to be served, and it's not going to be in the hands of Bobby Eagle. I'm picking USSR Kid to win this match. I'm going to go with the USSR Kid. You know, I don't really think Bobby Eagle is going to be able to beat someone who broke his back. Right. I mean, there's real mm. hatred here. Mm. Yeah, but being that there's real hatred here, I think Bobby Roode's going to more than avenge himself on this one. Bobby Roode will Bobby not be on Roode the card. Bobby Roode is not wrestling. He's this dead. He's not no, wrestling Rick Roode's dead. Oh. Bobby Roode wrestles for, uh, he's wrestling. Bobby, Bobby Eagle. Yeah. Bobby, Bobby Eagle is losing. Now, it might be Bobby Roode under the mask. We he don't know this. I haven't seen him on this WWE. Really? Of you. Bobby? No, I haven't. Interesting. Yeah, there's sure no is. way. There's no way. No, it can't be. There's what no do you way. know that we don't know? Do you know something? Uh, I'll never tell. Okay. Of so course, you're taking, yeah, you're taking I'm Bobby. Taking, I'm taking Bobby. Rude. Okay, of course. Bobby Eagle. Bobby Rude Eagle. <clears throat> yeah, well, he's rude, all right. All right. Next match, Myers McBain versus Danny. Myers Franklin. McBain. That's my prediction. <laughs> <laughs> That's my prediction. Next one. Next one. We're on After, after how easy I beat Danny England at the last show. Oh yeah. You were out there oh, yeah. watching the match. Oh, yeah, I had I had front row seats. Absolutely. It was it was the best show on earth. I even let you come in the ring to watch me pin up. I know, that? man. It was such it was uh, such a hands-on experience. <laughs> I can't believe how well it went. I can't believe how easy it was. I it thought was he was gonna give me so a little easy. bit. I, yeah, I, I think the Myers McBain to win this more one. More trouble, but I'm taking the new guy, Myers McBain. Myers after McBain out, all yeah. day. I don't see Danny being able to do anything after what Rick did. Now to that him. these, right. now that these two are done, we uh, we we know who's going to win this one. It's not yeah, gonna Myers be, McBain. Not gonna Just go Myers. ahead and say Myers. You know, we got three for Myers McBain. 
Danny's going to more than He's make having a malfunction over here. Because it's going to be one on one, not one on three or four. Or what is he talking about? Talking about, about one on three, maybe, one on you know, four. Maybe, what maybe, are you maybe, maybe, I'll dis- maybe I'll decide to come out and help him a little bit too. Who are you going to help? I'll throw him a couple of shoes and a shoehorn or something, and he can whack. He can whack him with it. We had to lift you into the ring just so that you could co-host with us. Well, that's say that's what happens with an old fat guy with bad knees. So. Right, exactly. You got bad knees, I mean, kissing pens, but, but yeah, we'll yeah, go ahead and okay. change the subject. I know now. something you can help Danny England with. Right. After he won't be able to walk out of the ring, maybe you can show him how to get out with bad knees. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Number three, the Beach Boy Battle Royal. Uh, meaning they could dress up like in their own beach clothes and stuff, looking like a bunch of yard tards or something oh, like okay. that. Oh, the yard um, tard battle royal. Right basically, it's a yard tard battle royal. Um, I'm trying to talk animal who's not out of retirement, just wants to be bodyguarding. Try and talk animal into coming out and doing this one just because I think that it would be great, but he's, he's kind of against it. I don't see him doing it. So, uh, with all the guys on the roster, mm, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and say... I'm going to go with Schizo. Schizo? Well, Schizo's in this match here, right at, uh, right there, so I don't think okay. he's going to be on it. Oh, See, so that's it's a not... I, yeah. You, okay. All right, here. Was... Here we go. Here's my prediction for who's going to win the battle royale. Me! Oh, you um, you going to bring yourself into there? Oh, yeah. I might as well get I two mean... wins underneath my belt in one night. What do you say? I mean, you I... You say I... you guys want to see the prodigal Gosh. son in the beach battle royale? <laughs> I would pick Maybe you not, for it one hundred percent. I don't like making people happy. Yeah, don't make them happy. Let's not push you. Yeah, I'm not gonna go in there. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, who's who's the? Uh, I think Marcus Knight's supposed to be in there. Really? Oh, well, I'll go with Marcus. Then, I'll if go he's with in Marcus. There. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Marcus if he's in there. Who are you gonna go with? Another oh, you, loser? No, no. You know what? I think you're right. I think if Marcus is in there, I think Marcus wins. If Animal gets in it, I pick oh, Animal. You want yes, guarantee yes. But, but if Animal's Marcus, oh in, well, yeah, if Animal's not in, I pick Marcus. Because, uh, because if Animal's in, we can all agree on this one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 If Animal's in there, nobody's beating. Yeah, he's because he's an animal. Um, number four, Brandon Miller versus Donovan Kozar. DJ Square. I'm gonna go with Gozar. I don't like Miller. I'm liking um, him lately. I mean, you know, after okay. he started messing with okay. the Misfits because they attacked his boy, you should watch the show last week. This guy You're gonna like him. has been calling me for the past like two months saying that he wants a global television championship. He's off that now. He's now going after J.L. Watson. Okay. He watched J.L. Watson. He, he said, wants Watson. Yeah, I okay. watched the show last week. He's finally said, told me straight up, he's like, you know, I've been doing that with this for the wrong reasons. Now it makes sense. And because them stupid misfits attacked his boy, the, the, the guy that oh, was yeah. with the um, autism yeah. singlet, stupid for no reason that J.L. Watson goes misfits. and hits him with a cane. That's all right, because we, we took J.L. Eagle Watson out of this man. Before. I don't like the misfits. He called out J.L. Watson. On the air last week, but you know what? J.L. Watson is ill. He can't make it. He he's having oh, medical issues. Yeah, the, he's having the medical all issues. All American City champion is ill. I might get bleeped out for this, but I believe he suffered from pussyitis. You know, that's actually something that people will actually suffer from. I agree. You I know, know somebody right it's, now. It's the fear of getting your butt kicked. Yes, that's it what is. it is. Yeah, fear, fear of getting your butt kicked. You know, I'll go with Miller. I'll go with Miller. Right, right. I'm going to go with Miller, too, because, you know what? Kozar's got a name that just tells me he loses. Kozar. <laughs> it, uh, what? It's something brown. Right? Right, right, something right, right, brown. Right. Yeah, something, yeah. something that's got to do with something brown. Something brown and orange, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. something brown and orange. Not the Bengals, though. The I Bengals. mean, I just can't drive myself <laughs> to think about it, though. Maybe it's fumbling around in my head right now, though. Well, I'm oh, sure who do you pick? Out. You know what? I I tend to go with the, with the two of you. I think Brandon Miller's going to pull this one off. Okay. What well, what happened to the guy that was picking everybody opposite of us? He's starting to realize. He's starting right. to realize that we're correct. He got, he's already got two wrong. Oh. I'm pretty sure he's changed his answers already for like one and two. Okay, number five, fifth match of the night. It's a three way dance tag team match. It's Backwood Zuck. 
teaming with either Kenny Collins or Merciless versus the Hawaiian Lions versus the Mayhem Mafia. As much as I like Zook now and as much as I like either person he puts in there, you've got the RCW Super Heavyweight World Champion and uh, Schizo teaming up with the former RCW Super Heavyweight Champion and his brother, Max Cortez, and they're members of the way. Uh, I'm taking the Mayhem Mafia. I'm gonna have to go with uh, I'm gonna have to go with experience. Mayhem Mafia has right. more experience than Zook and Collins, but if he brings Merciless, that makes it a little bit closer. Yeah. Yeah, but him yes, and Collins are a better team together. Yes, That's they the are. Part about yes, it. they are. But it, it just depends on what type of merciless you're getting that day. You got a point there. I mean, it, it ain't no way in hell the Hawaiian Lions are winning that match. I'm going to actually put my foot down and say they're not even going to last two minutes in a match if they're in there with Backwood, Silk, and Kenny Collins or Merciless. But Mayhem Mafia, I, I've Merciless. got them. They, Who are you taking on this one? You know, I to be honest, I wanted to go. Through, I wanted to go with Zook and whether it's Kenny Collins or you know or Merciless, but I cannot go with Mayhem Mafia. Those guys are just too powerful. Can't go with them or against? No, them? well, I, against them. Okay, no, I can't go against them. Can't. Does that ain't my phone ringer? That's got to be one of you guys. I don't have a phone, so it's not. Mine. Oh my goodness! All right, so we all take Mayhem Mafia. That's three in a row. We all pick the same people on. That's pretty interesting. We're going to go ahead and take a commercial break. But when we come back, we're going to hit the last three matches on the card. And these are three you're definitely going to want to watch. School is out. Take your summer break at Melanie Lake with Rubber City Wrestling as we present three incredible events. Sunday, June 25th. Watch as we crown a new world super heavyweight champion at Lords of the Ring. Thursday, July 6th, RCW gets hardcore with bike night with scars and straps. And on Sunday, July 30th, see title for title at Battle at the Beach. Three amazing events all taking place at Kim Tam Park at Melanie Lake. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. Do you enjoy indie flicks and B-movies? Maybe have a script in mind and want to be showcased? Well, the same company that gave you footsteps and Night Z, Guru Films is looking for more ideas. Contact us at thegurufilms1 at gmail.com or through the Guru Films Facebook page. So be sure to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash gurufilms.420 to purchase DVDs and for updates on new films coming soon. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. Welcome back to RCW Spotlight. Well, fans, it's that time of the show again. You might have questions, but we definitely don't have answers. If somebody doesn't stop that phone, I think that's you, Andrew. All right, anyway. Um, why don't you have a rooster for a ring tone? You think How I roll? I mean, Man. anyway. great for waking up in the morning. I know. Well, gosh, you know, I didn't think about that. All right, so. Next match on the list. James Lethal... This is the number one contenders uh, super heavyweight match, by the way. James Lethal versus The Butcher. You said that right. I'm telling you right now, James Lethal's a tough guy when he's not injured every other match. But The Butcher is crazy. Now, I believe that The Butcher is going to dominate this match because it's The Butcher. Problem is, listen, you guys think it's funny. Turn that off. <clears throat> Why do we have to do this in front of live people today? It's I like, like how it's like always jumping when you say when butcher. I talk. Yeah, butcher. Anyway, so James Lethal versus the butcher. 
And uh, I, I think the Butcher's going to be more of a... I think he's going to dominate the match, but I don't know if he really cares about winning the match. It's the Butcher for crying out loud. He's the Butcher, man. He's, he, not, he's, he's not there to hurt him, win. not there he to wants win. To, he wants to hurt someone. I'm going to pick James Lethal by disqualification. Can I do that? I mean, you're making it. I'll allow it. <laughs> Who do you got on this? I want the Butcher I, to win, by the way. You know... I don't like James Lethal. You know... I I don't I don't like Lethal either, but he's if he's not injured, right. he's gonna be hard to put down. Butcher, he's crazy. Butcher doesn't care about winning or losing. Butcher just wants to hurt people. So I can see DQ being being the route here. So you're taking who? I'm taking uh, James Lethal wins by DQ. Oh, same with mine. Nah, I think I think the butcher is gonna pull this one off. Wow! So you, we want the butcher to win, but we're taking him to lose because we think he's gonna go nuts. I'm sure you want the butcher to lose, but no, he uh, he's trying to use. You don't want a team based guy on uh, to win. No, I, I never said that, but th- I think the way that if lethal needs to take, I, I mean, just as a, as a fan's point of view, I, maybe just from what it's obser- observing. You think he came back too soon from the knee yeah, injury? Yes. Yeah, I do too. Of course. And every time he, you yeah, know. Of and, course, he, of yeah, course and, he came back too soon. And, and, and every time he needed he turned, that money. Yeah. You don't get paid when you're off. Under, understood. So, I, you know, I understand his reasoning, but sometimes with something like that, you need to, you need to give, you give it time to heal up. You know what I think it is? I think it's the old cocaine adage. Where after you've done it, you keep on trying to get to that same high. He was once a tag team champion and making mm-hmm. decent money, sure, right? Sure, sure. Now he's making that mid Carter money where he deserves. Mm-hmm. Well, guys like him are making like the top dollar because he's 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 on top. Yeah, you know? that's pure gold right there. You know, you know right? I, yeah, and you know I'm gonna add another gold belt to this. Yes, you are. I know. I can't wait. I'm gonna be adding one. I'm gonna be back up on that pave scale again. You know, Trace I mean, I'm up there bones. anyway because of my, you know longevity but I'm, I'm gonna be back where, where you're at you know what I'm saying you know you know well, you're gonna be doubling it. I'm gonna ha- yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna have I'm gonna have big beautiful right. and I'm gonna have her older sister big Goldie right That's and then you're gonna point. have you're gonna I'm have, gonna have uh, the beautiful world yeah light heavyweight championship like and then we're gonna change the name from spotlight to the golden light yeah what you're trying to come on your golden show. champions the yeah. Romo Waddle we'll just keep Rick Lee and the prodigal son, George Davis. I believe that would be way better than replacing me with, or re- replacing Ken with him while he's out. Yeah, replace, replace him with me. You're not I mean, prodigal son. Yeah, he, he, you know, been the, been here the ratings week. would go through the roof. I agree. Yeah, they go through I agree. the roof, all right. Mm-hmm. All right, now let's get one. to the two good matches. Yes, the best ones on the card. Yes. First of all, <laughs> we got to go with my match. And oh, that dude. match being for the RCW World Light Heavyweight Championship. Now, in my opinion, Crowley has been going around basically as, I mean, let's be honest, he's been the Floyd Mayweather of Rubber City Wrestling. You know, the light heavyweight guy, the the, the smaller guy, but basically the number one name in the business right now. Well, it's time for me to knock him down, smack him down a few notches, and I'm going to take that belt away from him. You know, they made me co-host they made Crowley Wait. co-host with me on Global. I, this past I got week. a I heard that. quick question. It, Crowley's the number one pound for pound. In number one pound for pound. How you're not? I have no How? idea. I, How? I would have voted for you. Wah, 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 wah. So here's what we got. All right, now somebody's playing like Texas Chainsaw Massacre like sounds in the background. And you guys act like I don't hear this stuff. Yeah. Quiet hey. studio audience, please. Where's Ken? All right. Here? Anyway, hey. so we got me versus Crowley. Well, Crowley might be Floyd Mayweather, but now Floyd steps in the ring with Muhammad Ali. And gets There's a reason why I'm the GOAT. There's a reason why I'm the greatest, and I'm going to prove it again. Crowley, I'm not picking you. <laughs> I'm taking me to win that one. And a landslide. I'm taking Rick Lieb as well. I appreciate you. You know, it doesn't even look right for Crowley to beat you. No, it doesn't, does it? What, what do you got? Sense? Well, I figured since this is probably going to be the last time I'll be ever be on here again, I think uh, Crowley 
keeps his championship. What? What are you talking about? What are you saying? You have been making I great decisions I for the last few matches. You, you've, you've been so long without a championship, it's like, no, nah, you have to prove it otherwise. You, you wow. got, God, I don't care if you've had two, three, five, or ten. Doesn't matter. Wow. You're, you're without one now. You're really going to say that to a two-time RCW World Heavyweight Champion? Yes, sir. Whoa. Two times RCW World Heavyweight Champion. One time RCW World Global Television Champion. And? And soon to be one time RCW World, World Light Heavyweight, Heavyweight Champion. Champion. Well, until then, I won't say you won't, but prove it to me. Show me. <sighs> This is ridiculous. Wow. Yeah, so like I say, if you do, then kudos. No, oh, it'll be kudos, all right. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, next match. The main event of the evening. The one we've all been waiting for. The coup de gras of them all. You had the feature match. Now it's time for that main event match. The match <laughs> that I've been waiting for. Man, I'm going to have to... I'm going to... After I win my belt, I'm going to sit down at the commentary table and watch this match. Oh, yes. That's how much I'm going to enjoy this one. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. So, of course, it's RCW World Heavyweight Champion, Cody Reaper. Ooh, ooh. Oh, you guys shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. But save your applause until it's over. Against, of course, the prodigal son, the RCW Global World Television Champion, that one swell guy, I might add, George Davis. Go I, ahead and give them your prediction, Rick. Oh, this is a no-brainer. George Davis is going to destroy Cody Reaper. And I'm going to be there to watch it. And I'm going to look forward Why don't you go next? I'll give my wait. prediction last. Save the best for last. Go for it. Go for it. Who do you think is going to win this match? You better not say Cody Reaper. You better not. Then I won't. Yeah. Go ahead. Go with me. No, sir. Cody's going to hang on to his championship. And... You know what? Here's my prediction. Here's my prediction because that one was bull. That one sucked. Let me tell you my prediction. My prediction this Sunday is that Cody Reaper, you are going to walk in to Kimtown Park with the World Heavyweight Championship, though you will not be walking out with that title because after Sunday, I'm going to walk into the next RCW live event with the RCW Global Cha Television Championship and the RCW World Heavyweight Championship. You're gonna see Big Beautiful and her big older sister, Big Goldie. And I'm gonna walk in to Art of War with both championships and whoever yeah. is gonna face me for these titles, they're gonna lose because nobody beats the prodigal son and nobody beats the system. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. Hold on, these are tears. Oh. Oh, that was really well sweaty, done. Well okay. done. Oh, gosh. Made my eyeballs sweaty a little bit there. Yeah. Anyway, you know what? That's about the best way to end this. So for Jimmy the Shoe over there, who bad predictions. Car the horrible again. predictions. Did Although good in the he did matches. He did matches for three matches. Right. All right. Of the course, there was a yeah. the soon-to-be world heavyweight champion, the prodigal son, George Davis. I hmm. have the soon-to-be hmm. world light heavyweight champion. Your role model, Rick Lee, saying, get there right now. Tonight is the night. You're going to see it happen. Melanie Lake, Kim Tap Park. See you there. Who's Salute. Titles.